Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Kevin, I'm a geek. You are watching Kevin the Geek and welcome to my movie reaction. And this is a sequel to a movie that I did earlier this year, which is Back to the Future. And this is Back to the Future Part 2. Now you may be seeing this um, in two different forms. You may be seeing the condensed version on YouTube or you may be seeing the full version which is available now only to my Patreons. So this month I have released my Patreon and I've made it go live for, for all of my followers. So if you have not done so, you can sign up to it. Now there are, there is normally a movie tier level, which is where you will get access to full length uncut reactions for, uh, for movies. However, because this is the very first movie that I am going to be putting on the Patreon and the first video that I'm making available on my Patreon, this one is going to be available to any person at any level of, of the tier. So even if you go for the most basic tier level as a way of thanking you for, for starting my Patreon journey off, you will get access to this but any other movies that I release the full movie reaction that will only be available if you look at the the movie level tier. I can't remember I've given them all different geek related names I can't remember which one I've put it on on there but uh, please, please feel free to check out uh, my patreon and you can take a look at all the different um, uh, tier levels that I've got. Currently there are three uh, and there, there will be one which is available for a limited number which is for a guaranteed reaction and there will at some point be uh, another level which will gain access to TV shows which I am doing which again will at one point become um, condensed versions on YouTube but not for a while and that will be the same with the movies so this movie uh, will be going out towards the end of August but uh, from the 1st of August, if you are a Patreon member, you can access this one. And later on this month, I will also be doing, uh, putting onto Patreon, my reaction to Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. And then at some point in the future, I will do the YouTube condensed version as well. But you know, I, I apologize, that's a little bit of a big intro for this video, but I needed to make sure that I kind of explain that and it will be a better explanation in, in the future for other videos. But this is Back to the Future Part 2. And as I understand it, it was kind of filmed in conjunction with Part 3 and they're sort of linked to each other. I don't know, we'll find out more once I've watched the movie. So thank you so much if you're watching this, whether it's a YouTube condensed version or the full version on Patreon. But either way, let's get started for Back to the Future. So I really did enjoy the first Back to the Future movie and I'm really, really hoping that I enjoy this one just as much. Oh yeah, isn't this where the first movie finished off? Ah! Yeah, we're literally picking up right where we left off. And here we go! What the hell is going on? <laughs> Back to the future! Part 2! So as I understand it, I think this is some point in the 2010s. Because I remember seeing articles that go and stuff. This is things that Back to the Future predicted would happen in the future. Let's see if they were right. So, yeah, maybe we'll see if they're right. Oh. Well, we don't have flying cars in the future. We're descending toward Hill Valley, California. At 4.29 p.m. on Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. Oh, that's nine years ago for me. Welcome to Hill Valley, Goldie Wilson Jr. Wasn't that the name of the mayor back in the 50s? Or, actually no, the 80s. Yeah, so presumably that's his son, I'm guessing. Right now it's pouring rain. Wait five more seconds. God damn, I wish we could predict the weather like that. Put on the jacket and the shoes. Okay. I don't know what the big tube box thing is for. 
Whoa! Nice! Are they powered as well? They go. Look what happens to your son! Oh! Arrested? I backtracked everything to this one event. That's why we're here today, to prevent this incident from ever happening. Ah! I mean, it sounds like there's electric cars, which I guess is kind of, uh, you know, true to life. Oh, is that the clock? Hang on, if you, you just see it right up there in the corner, um, yeah, it uh, looks like it's sort of burnt. So I'm guessing, was that from the lightning strike thing back in, in the 50s? Because I can't remember what it looked like in, in, in the 80s, but in the 50s, yeah, because that's the lightning strike. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Is that Jaws 10? Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, lava lamps, yes! Beat it! No one wants to be defeated! All I want is a Pepsi. Whoa! Nice! You're Marty Jr. Tough break, kid. Must be rough being named after a complete butthead. He had changed. Hey, Gramps! I told you two coats of wax on my car, not just one! Hey, hey, I just put the second coat on last time. Oh, yeah. so that's the one from that bullet, uh, my dad. Mm. You mean you have to use your hands? That's like a baby's toy. <laughs> Wrong, Fly. You got no scrope. Oh! Whoa! All right, punk. Hey, look! Oh no! It didn't work. Oh! That did it. Oh, nice. Well, if you ain't got wheels, it's still the same thing. <laughs> I don't think you need to actually skate. Oh, maybe, maybe you do then. Something very familiar about all this. <laughs> you think? Yeah, we're, we're literally recreating a lot of stuff here. Uh oh. He looks angry! <laughs> Oh dear! Yo, just get off and run! Ooh, that's gonna be expensive! Drying mode. Ah. Oh, nice! Drying. Oh, that'd be so cool! I said I wish I could go back to the beginning of the season. Put some money on the cubbies! Oh! Oh, no! You can't mess with time! Because time will bite you back. It's changing. Oh. Oops. What's this? Uh, it's a souvenir. I am going to put this in the trash. Uh-oh. I didn't invent the time machine to win at gambling. I invented the time machine to travel through time. I was about to say, it's going to come back into play, that book. Doc Brown invented a time machine. Oh God, I, I, I have a feeling that there's going to be more time travel involved. Or maybe like he'll get a message back to his younger self, something like that. Welcome home, Jennifer. Oh wow, fingerprint entry, nice! Broadcasting beautiful views 24 hours a day. Nice! You're tuned to the Scenery Channel. Yeah, you, you don't want boring nighttime views, you want beautiful scenery. Okay, I want channels 18, 24, 63, 9, 87 in the weather channel. Multi screens? Uh, Marty, you're leaving your 
door open and is that a drone walking a dog? Oh, this is not going to go well. I'm going to make a prediction. He's going to go back in the future. Uh, no, rather, he's going to go back in the past. Um, he's going to do something with that book, which is going to change the future. And they're going to have to go back in past again to whenever they go and fix it so that the future uh, becomes normal again. That is my prediction for this movie now. <laughs> I mean, they're making it pretty obvious, to be fair. Oh, all right. Just wait what the hell is that? Can you just shove it in my mouth? <laughs> no way. Damn, that'd be pretty cool to have in the future. Or at least in the present for me. What if the jits is monitoring? Huh? Whoa, hang on. He's wearing two ties. Why would you wear two ties? Read my no. thoughts. Please, no, I cannot be fired. I'm fired. <laughs> ah. Whoa. Oh, my word. Oh. Oh, he's iced up. Do you remember? That that, that normally suggested that it was, uh, that it, it travelled. Are we back? Whoa. Bloody hell. Jesus Christ. Back. <laughs> back to the past. Uh, yeah, that doesn't have the same ring as Back to the Future, does it? <laughs> Whoa! Um, what did he do? What has he done to change the past so much? Oh, the present. Has he like put so much money on that he's that he's a gazillionaire and sort of runs the town? Whoa! Is it the Nigerian terrorists again? Holy shit. Welcome to the Biff Tannen Museum. <laughs> dedicated to Hill Valley's number one citizen and America's greatest living folk hero. <laughs> Back on the good old 27th floor. 27th floor? And what? Uh, 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 oh! I'm fine, I'm fine. It's just that you're so... You're so... Promiscuous? I, I can call room service. <laughs> <laughs> Marty doesn't have good luck with, with, with his mum, does he? Bloody hell. So, in this reality, is Marty the son of his mum... But he's got a different dad now? Is that what it is? That his dad is Griff? Uh, Biff? I can't remember which one's which. Ugh. Oh my god, it's your father. My father. Oh, it is. Oh, oh, hold on one second. Let's get this straight. Marty is your kid, not mine. Oh. I was, I was getting very confused for a second. He was right. And I was wrong. I had it coming. He's my husband and he takes care of all of us. So so says every survivor of domestic abuse ever. Wow. It says right here that Biff made his first million betting on a horse race in 1958. Ah. Oh, that's all in the past. You mean the future? Whatever. Yeah. Language can be confusing with time travel. We have to find out the exact date and the specific circumstances of how, where, and when. I'll ask him. Oh, is it that easy? First you tell me how you got it. He ain't gonna tell him. All right. Take a seat. Or is he? November 12th, 1955, that was when. Oh. If you're forgetting one thing. What the hell is that? <laughs> Oh! He always falls for the distraction. If he if he knew if he was kind of told about about Marty and Dog showing up and asking about it, why would he tell him? That makes no sense. Yeah, you might be kind of trapped. I bet you wish you kept your hoverboard now, don't you? Oh, 
Bye. We gotta go back to 1955. I don't believe it. Okay, so we go back to 1955. So does this mean we've got a whole thing where we have to avoid original Marty when he's back in the past? Uh, I was saying 1885. Are they going to go accidentally go back to 1885 instead of 1955? The other me was a dark family brown from 1955. The other me that helps the other you. <laughs> Make up your mind which way you're going, Doc. Get yourself some 50s clothes. Check that. Something is conspicuous. <laughs> yeah, not. Doc, come in, Doc. Whoa! Is Marty over? That is not inconspicuous. That's going to make you stand out. Doc. It is Biff's house. I'm on him. Oh. Mr. Sandman, give me a drink. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, nice dress, Lorraine. Although I think you'd look better wearing nothing at all. Oh, I forgot how much of it is a creep. I figured I'd cut you a break and give you the honor of going with the best looking guy in school. Yeah, well, I'm busy. Yeah, doing what? Washing my hair. Oh, and trying to get with Calvin Klein. I'm gonna marry you someday, Lorraine! Blah. Someday you'll be my wife! Blah. You see this book? It tells the results of every major sports event till the end of the century. I mean, it's very thin. For 50 years of every sporting event. Field goal, UCLA wins 19-17. Alright, Pops, what's the gag? How did you know what the score was gonna be? And how did he find the answer so quickly in that book? Marty, Marty, come in. Doc! That is such a stupid thing. Like, Biff would be able to hear you. He's that close. You must have just missed me. I'm in the back of Biff's car. He's on his way to the enchantment under the seat. He's going to hear you. You must be extremely careful not to run into your other self. My other self? Yes. Uh, like, behind you. Leave the book. Leave the book. Leave the book. God damn it. Oh la la, Biff, Marty intercepts Biff and the gang and everything, is that going to interfere with everything that Marty did when he originally went back in time? This is going to be interesting. There we go. <laughs> it's got to be so weird for Marty. Even though he understands it, it's got to be so, so super weird seeing yourself. Weirder than seeing your mum. And what have we here? Uh, so is that how it, Biff didn't end up with the book for the scenes that we saw in the first bit? My mind is such a, a, a messed up right now. I, I, my mind is trying to comprehend about 50 million different things all at the same time. Dude, don't, you don't go by the bell. You literally go slightly around the corner so you're more behind him and you reach over but there's less of things to do. No. Oh. Oh, Biff was clever. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. It's okay. I know CPR. <laughs> I know CPR. Hey. What's CPR? <laughs> you. Oh, that's CPR. <laughs> it's him! Hey, he's in disguise! Guys, what's that? <laughs> Bloody hell! Are they ever going to do anything different? Or is it always going to be a bit of a rehash? <laughs> Alright guys, now listen to the blues riff from B. Watch me for the changes and try and keep up, okay? <laughs> I never get tired of hearing this song. They're gonna brought one thing back for the original movie. It'd be this. Go, Johnny, go, go, go. The the one in the back is that is that a young Billy Zane? That's 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 got to be Billy Zane, surely. <laughs> wow, that th this must have been so crazy to try and film. <laughs> oh. I mean, that was heavy. Oh, extra dose of heavy. 
Nothing but a little chicken. Uh oh. Go on. Hit him again. Third time tonight. Nobody calls me chicken. Oh. Fifth nailed me. He took the book. He drove away with it in his car. Technically, you nailed yourself, Marty. That's going to sound so wrong out of context. Oh, oh, he has got the hoverboard. Nice. But is, is this the road that Marty, original Marty, was on when he tried to go to 80 odd miles an hour to get to the thingy? Like I said, my mind melting right now. Just grab it and then fly away. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Biff, that time that was your fault. Oh, nice. There we go. Oh, please tell me that's the manure truck again. Please tell me he's going to drive into the back of it and it'll be the exact same thing again. I mean, they already like to repeat stuff in this movie, so please let it be the thing again. Oh! Da, da, da. Oh! Yeah! It is! Yes! <laughs> Eat shit, Biff. <laughs> oh, he did! He actually did! <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, where did Doc go? Do you read me, Doc? Come in. Oh, I, 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 am gonna make a prediction now because we saw the thing about him, you know, the thing that it was like the the years kept changing or whatever. It was like I'm gonna fix that, and it showed 1885. Cause like when, yeah, yeah, whatever. So my prediction is he's just been struck by lightning, so he's now been sent back in the past to 1885. Is your name Marty McFly? Huh? Who's this bozo? So we've had that envelope in our possession for the past 70 years. Did you say 70 years? Is that, is that 1885, if my maths is correct? Am I, am I right? Was my prediction right? I mean, if, I, if it was, it was kind of an obvious one. He's in the old west, but he's alive! <laughs> you alright? You need any help? There's only one man who can help me! <laughs> oh! Uh, 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 original dog? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this, this is so trippy. It's seriously so trippy. <laughs> oh. Um. 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 Like. <laughs> uh, give me a couple of minutes. Let me gather my thoughts, please. A few moments later. Okay, so that was Back to the Future, uh, part two, and um, yeah, that 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 was a, a, a crazy movie. That 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 was just mind-boggling, uh, <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, especially the sort of second half of that when we went back to the fifties, because yeah, because we were seeing some of the the, the the events from the first movie, but we're seeing them from a totally different angle, which I like. Is a, is a kind of novel concept and everything but yeah it was it, it, it's just so trippy you know trying to trying to kind of keep keep track of everything in your mind um now i hear that that one is like the least well received of the the three movies <clears throat> um i didn't think it was that bad um but i think what i did think with that one it uses a lot of repetition. 
in, in that. It, it really, really does. There's so much of, of that movie, which is kind of you know, doing so many callbacks to the first movie, like the, the repeated uses of, you know, the, the great sky, or dark, that's heavy, you know, things like that. And then, um, oh, the, uh, well, what's that behind you? Boof. As the distraction, to the, you know, all these different things that they, they were constantly, uh, constantly doing. Um, but overall, I, I, I did enjoy that. I, I did find that I found it entertaining, as it's, uh, as, as it should be really with the movie. I think in a way it did feel a little bit rushed at times because it almost feels like. In a way, could have been parts two and three of the whole trilogy, and then the one we're going to apparently watch next time could have been part four. Um, they could have expanded more on the future stuff, and then expanded more on the, the past stuff. Although, in saying that, would that ha if it, like, if you'd use the whole basis of them going back to the fifties as a effectively part three, would that? have led to really bad reviews because that would have probably fallen into what I'm saying and that it was you know very repeti re re uh, repetitive and, and uh, you know of, of, of the first movie sorry I'm, I'm a little bit blabbering right now but um, no I, I really did enjoy that and um, now I did say um, during that I'd like to see some of the stuff that it kind of spoke about that it sort of predicted um, in in the um, uh, you know the, the predictions of what 2015 would look like. Um, so this is um, I found this from the Screen Rant website. Um, I don't know when this was written. Oh, this was apparently updated June of this year. Um, so who knows when it was originally written? Um, so um, so. The smartwatch. So Doc was wearing a, a smartwatch. So that is is you know that is definitely something that happened in the future. Video calling. Uh, yeah, because that's what Marty did in the future. You know the thing, whatever it was he did that that got him fired. Uh, that's definitely uh, something. And in a way, a little bit um, early. I mean, I mean, video calling. Yeah, you know, it was kind of around with, with uh, you know video phones and stuff and. With kind of like Skype, but it didn't really, I'd say, massively kind of hit the the mega markets of, of the world, probably in, until COVID, really. So a couple of years after 2015, but it still actually predicted the future there. Um, apparently, digital currency, um, <clears throat> in a way, franchises, because. You know, we got to Jaws. It's apparently Jaws 19, not 10. I must have misread the font there. But, you know, franchises is, is, is definitely become a thing. And many, many parts of, of franchises. Um, drones, it, it, it's kind of predicted. Um, kind of wearable technology. I mean, that kind of became a thing, didn't it? With that, I think it was Google Glass. It didn't really take off, but it, it definitely became a thing. I think I've seen, I think it's... Isn't it like Ray-Bans or, or, or something that, that are supposedly have something that can connect to like Facebook or something? Or like you could take a picture with your Ray-Bans and that like, will like automatically update it to things like your, your Facebook. Or I, th I think it's something like that. Um, Multi-screens, yeah, that, that's something that, that's been predicting. Um, and apparently Nike, who obviously in, in this had the self-lacing trailers, they apparently actually did make... Um, um, they, they did make them a reality. They actually did make them. Um, and apparently, um, it raised over $16 million for the Michael J. Fox Foundation, uh, which does, uh, which basically funds research into Parkinson's disease. Um, so, hey, that, that's, that's, that's very, very good there. Um, Fingerprint scanners. Um, the Miami Marlins. Uh, hang on, I don't, I don't know what this one is. Hang on, let me read this. When Back to the Future 2 was released in 1989, there was no baseball team issue, uh, based in Miami. By 2015, however, there was indeed a Miami-based baseball team 
although they didn't win the World Series. The Florida Marlins debuted during the 1993 Major League Baseball expansion and were gone to win the World Series in 1997 and in 2003. 2012, the team moved to a new stadium, Marlins Park, based in downtown Miami. They also changed their name to the Miami Marlins as part of the agreement for being based in the Florida city, thus fulfilling one part of Back to the Future 2's prophecy, if not the other. Okay. Okay, that's, that's interesting. I mean, how much of that kind of came from the movie or, or not, I don't know. Um, and then apparently personalised advertising. Um, well, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously there's some stuff that it didn't happen. Like, uh, like hoverboards obviously definitely never became a thing, you know. But um, yeah, that was a really, really good movie. And now, of course, um, you know, I just want to thank you again if you are watching this uh, as the full length movie as part of the Patreon exclusive uh, that I am now doing. If you haven't uh, joined my Patreon, then do, co do, do consider doing it to any of the different tier levels just to help me uh, and to kind of support the channel a little bit. Um, but um, if, if you're watching the YouTube version and you just want to see that, th there's no obligation to join it, it, it just to simply help me out and maybe have me afford better equipment and, and basically just to improve the, the quality of the channel ultimately and uh, you know for as just yeah just thank you thank you to everyone who, who has done sorry i am waffling i'm rambling it's nearly midnight for me at the time of me recording this so yeah i'm gonna stop here now i'm gonna get start getting this edited so i can get this out uh, in time but uh, thank you once again for joining do please subscribe uh, if you're new please do of course drop your comments down below as well but for today my name is kevin i am a geek and you've been watching kevin the geek goodbye